Maniniwala ka ba na si Realme ay gumawa ng isang produkto na pang flagship na experience at the entry level price? That's right, that is the Realme C67. From the design, the software and the camera, this thing screams flagship all over. Oh, wait lang Vince, alam ko yan. Nakita ko yung specs niya sa inyong website. And I was not impressed. Wait till you see this. Guys, itong phone na to ay nakakagawa ng ganitong klaseng feature. Look at this display, no? That is called the mini capsule. Parang iPhone, di ba? This one is no gimmick. You can actually interact with it. Hindi ka tulad ng mga ibang entry-level phones out there na gimmick lang. Kapag nag-charge ka lang, lalabas na siya. This one, guys, you can actually interact do things with it. Also, this feature is reserved sa mga flagship. Always on display. Look at that. Kahit takapatay yung phone, kita mo yung clock. Finally, may experience mo yung gantong klaseng feature. And the camera. Guys, kinompare namin siya kay Camon 20 Pro ni Tecno and the Infinix 035G 15K and the 13K ata. Ito less than 10K lang po. At hindi kayo maniniwala sa nakita namin. Mas maganda pa ang kanyang camera. Wow! Wait, wait, wait lang, Vince. Hold your tumbong. Huh? Gusto na makita kung tutubay sa time mo. Pwede na. Unbox na natin. Realme 67. What's Vince? You're watching. Unbox series. Oh. So, ano ba meron dito sa phone ito? Well, ito na po ah. Meron po siyang 108MP ultra clear camera. And of course, meron siyang Snapdragon 685 69mm chipset. 33 watts charging, 5,000mAh of battery, 90Hz refresh rate display, meron na siyang dual stereo speakers, and the mini capsule 2.0. An iPhone-like feature for under 10K. Ooh, bago na. Wow. Make it real. Hey, welcome to the Realme family. Ayan po yung kanyang SIM ejector pin. Safety guide, nakalagay dyan. At yung kanyang jelly case. And the color I have here is the Sunny Oasis. The green color. Ganda. Meron pa siyang black color, the black rock. Very real, very nature. Ito na pa yung USB Type-C cable. At yung tunay na 33W Super VOOC charger. Because this is real. Yung iba kasi guys, make it big. Ito naman make it real. Sa mga hindi pa nakakalam, nag-evolve na po si Realme from the usual gaming-centric design and look and feel and the processor. And even the branding itself is pulling away from the gaming-centric image that it has before. Kasi nga before, in-associate niya yung sarili niya sa gaming. Streamers, Mobile Legends. Ngayon po, it's more on its branding. Anong ibig sabihin nun? Looks like it wants to stand out. Well, if you look at all of the other phones in the market today, sa entry level, guys, mukha po sila ng halos lahat iPhone. This one has its own personality, own design. What does that mean, brand? Well, gusto daw niya mag-stand out. But if you really want to stand out, you gotta have some features that is unique to yourself, to your brand, which I think is yung software ni Realme and yung kanyang camera and even the design. Now, starting off with the design, ito po yung kanyang itsura. This is how it looks. Looks like, maganda to kasi nga hindi sila nag-go for the iPhone camera. Yung kasi yung madalas na pinapakita ngayon. Sobrang gas-gas na ng iPhone design these days with the entry-level phones. But Realme has opted for this kind of camera design. Pero, very iPhone-like pa rin yung kanyang shape. Look at that. Flat back, flat sides, curved edges. You could actually mistake it for an iPhone kapag tumingin ka sa gilid. But yes, if you actually look into a Realme phone, meron silang mga ganitong klaseng design. Ayan po, yung ganyang klaseng mga cutout. I see that on the Realme Pad 2 and their other phones as well. Instant and guys, every time you look at a Realme phone, talagang madali mo lang siya ma-identify. Yung design niya is, uh, look at this. Nag-rainbow ang kanyang likod kapag tinatamay ng ilaw. Which is nothing new. Matte finish back. Feeling ko din nakalala ng jelly case dito kasi di naman siya dumihan. Pero, wow, ang pogi niya. So good. Ouch. Now the sides looks like aluminum. No, parang kay iPhone 15 Pro Max. But it's not. It's actually just plastic. Pero yung kanyang texture, it feels like a very high quality product. Kapag hinawakan mo siya, ah, grabe, pati yung display. Kapag, guys, when you look at a display, you instantly feel that it's a high-end product. Everything about this phone feels very high-end. Even the animations of the phone, no? Kapag ka inon mo siya, then enough mo. Meron siyang animation na magdidim siya dun sa power button apart and spreads the light all over. Wow. Okay, so ito hindi kaya ang gayahin ni Transion, no? Infinix Techno. Realme has placed here a very nice high-end display. Bezels are just so sagad. And when you watch the movies here, talaga na-immerse ka sa kanya. Colors are great. And the brightness, oh ito, ito na. This phone has a mega brightness feature. By default, it has up to 800 nits of brightness. Pero yung kanyang peak brightness, it can go as high as 950 nits. And no, it does not need HDR or the sunlight to activate this feature. You can actually activate this manually in the settings right here. Ayan po, extra brightness. With that, it's gonna add 150 more nits 
of brightness to the display. Also, naging mas usable siya sa outdoor. Usually kasi yung mga entry-level phones ay nasa 500-600 nits lang. But wow, Realme up to 950 nits. And look at this, lay it down like that. Close yung lights and turn off the phone. Meron po siyang always on display. Kailang it will eat more battery. Pero sa cool feature, no? Kung ayaw mo laging tinitinan yung clock, this will save you more battery in the long run kasi nga kung madalis ka mag-check ng clock or time, ito, makikita mo na siya kahit naka-off yung inyong display. And look at this, meron akong text sa lock screen, Vince Pogi. Huh? And that mini capsule 2.0, wow! Finally, a very useful mini capsule design. Kasi before, yung mga entry level guys, gusto lang talaga nila ipakita sa inyo yung paganon, dynamic island style, para lang maingganyo nyo kayo na bumili. But it's only usable sa charging, sa face unlock, and that's pretty much it. It's pretty much an animation. Pero sabi ni Realme, okay, Kailangan pwede ka mag-interact dito. Kailangan may purpose talaga siya. So yeah, Spotify. Pag pumunta sa home, magiging ganyan yung tsura ng mini capsule. Click mo lang and it will look like that. Lalabas po yung information, no? Kanta. Swipe left and right, lalabas yung arrow. Pwede ka mag-next at pwede ka mag-back. Wow. Kaya lang it has this problem. Sa Spotify, dapat pag kinlik mo yan sa taas, if you're coming from the home screen, dapat babalik siya dun sa application. But no. Nag-stop lang siya. Naging bilog lang siya ulit. So, that's something that they could actually improve on in the future sa Mini Capsule 2.1. Now, going back to the design, syempre, nakaka-add talaga yung kanyang very iconic look. A Realme phone does make it stand out from the rest. And it does so by doing these two important things. Number one is yung kanyang stand-out design. Ayaw niyang gumaya sa iba. Kung yung iba nag-iPhone look lahat, this one wants to stand out. Next is innovation. Kung yung iba, gaya lang ng gaya, ito naman. They actually placed here one of the most innovative technologies I have ever seen at this price range, which is this very flat display. Parang hindi naman. If you look closely, guys, ito, sa pinakagilid, if you look at the side straight lang, you will see it's very, very flat. Wala pa siyang brackets na makikita sa other entry-level phones. Ito ah, Techno Camon 20 Pro. Let's compare. And as you can see, merong plastic bracket itong si Techno Camon 20 Pro. For me, this subtle design aspect makes it so much more elegant compared to its competition. And yes, meron siyang parang brushed effects sa likod. Ayan no? Also much more fun to look at kapag tinatama ng ilaw. Ano ang kasama sa buttons and ports niya? Ito na po, power buttons right side. Ito po ay fingerprint scanner din. Sa taas niya ay volume rocker. And up here, we're getting a speaker. Wow, dual speakers daw siya. Meron sa taas at meron din sa baba. Meron siyang USB Type-C port, another microphone, and the headphone jack. Sa left side naman is yung kanyang SIM tray, which is a dual nano SIM card slot plus a micro SD card slot for expandability. Na up to 2 terabytes of external memory daw. That's right, nakalagay sa website nila. Is this the Telegram phone? Marami ka masasave na zip files. Huh? And of course, videos and photos as well. So here's another thing that makes it much more superior than its competitors which is yung kanyang display. The display is totally out of this world for the price. Unang una, 6.72 inch, full HD plus 1080p 90Hz refresh rate IPS LTD display na 91.4% screen to body ratio. Believe it or not, sobrang sagad talaga niya. It can even generate up to 16.7 million colors. Kaya lang, yung kanyang punch hole ay medyo Malaki ng konti. Especially with this kind of wallpaper, masyadong bright tong yellow. What if you can just change it to black? Ayun na po, black color na po siya. Hindi nakalata. May natutunan naman kayo. Now, not only is the phone very colorful, but also extremely bright. For the first time ever, an entry-level device can actually give you this level of usability outside your home. Although it's not an AMOLED display, yung kanya mga gilid-gilid ay medyo nagdim ng konti kapag ka tinitinam sa sides. But after enabling that extra brightness at the settings, boom, much more usable na sa labas. Let's say for example, napipila ka sa labas, NBI, namamalengke ka, di mo makita yung screen mo. Now, pwedeng-pwede na. Although, it will eat up some battery because it will require extra power. And also, yung kanyang always on display, ganun din. It will eat more battery simply because naka-on pa rin siya. May konting nits na ginagamit yung display. And I'm not sure if bumababa yung kanyang refresh rate kapag ka naka-AOD. The display also has 180 hertz touch sampling rate, which is highly useful for gaming for that touch responsiveness. The games playing on this thing is just such a joy. Una una Mobile Legends, high resolution, ultra graphics, super refresh rate right out of the box. And as you can see, when we're playing the game, talagang sobrang sagad siya. Talagang immerse kami sa kanyang gameplay. If we compare this to the latest Infinix Hot 40 Pro, guys, ang laki ng difference, tinamon na yung bezels. 
di ba? Para mas elegant tingnan, mas pang flagship tingnan si Realme C67. And yes, they play pretty much the same. Kaya lang, aesthetically, talagang mas lamang talaga si C67. Not only on the graphic side, but also on the audio side as well. Kasi nga, flash news, when we turned up the volume, talagang wow, na blown away kami sa narinig namin. Usually, never sila naglalagay ng isang napagandang speakers para sa isang entry-level device. Wow, first impressions ang crisp na kanyang sound quality. Di ba? Usually, sabog na. Usually, nagka-crack yan at the highest volume. Naka-max naka volume na po to. Also on Call of Duty, talagang wow! Napa-wow kami sa bawat barrel namin. Parang mas naka-enjoy siya pakinggan yung bawat release ng bullets. Kasi ang sarap ng bawat tunog ng bala. But don't take my word for it. Punta ka sa nearest film store. Para matas mo siya. Baka pangit yan. Wait lang, huwag ka manggigil. Tinan naman lahat puro chipset. Huwag tayo mukhang chipset. <laughs> De joke lang ito na. So yung kanyang chipset ay naka Snapdragon 685. 4G processor, 313,000 points at 2 to benchmark. That is a 15% boost in the CPU and 10% boost in the GPU performance now and pretty much 20 something percent boost in the Antutu benchmark now. With this, you're gonna be able to play Mobile Legends very smoothly, walang problema, even at high resolution. Call of Duty ito ha, nag nagulat kami, meron siyang very high graphics at meron pa siyang high frame rates. Pero kapag nag very high graphics ka, medium frame rates lang kanya ibigay. And yes, overall, the, the gameplay is very smooth naman, very minimal stutters here and there. But the value this thing provides you as a gaming device is the immersion that the audio gives you plus the display that makes it a lot more sagad. It's like the content is floating on mid-air. 91.4% screen to body ratio. Nakakadagdag talaga sa overall gaming experience yan. Now, if you notice, coming up to this point, parang halos lahat na lang ay madaling gayahin lang naman ng ibang mga companies. I mean, parang mas okay si Infinix Hot 40 Pro, Tecto Spark 20 Pro, parang mas mura pa ngayon eh. Bakit mo nang bibili niyan? Tulad na sinabi ko kanina, this is something na hindi talaga magagaya ng pretty much every brand. Which is yung R&D, Research and Development, which is they actually hired expert engineers that specialize on imaging and software to give you a unique and a much more functional camera. Now this thing has a 108 MP ultra clear camera. Yung iba kasi guys, ultra sensing camera. Meron siyang 2 MP depth sensor and uh, LED flash. Yun. 8 MP selfie camera, meron din siya. So yung mga pictures na nakuha namin. Right out of the bat, talagang kakaiba ang kanyang image quality compared to the competition. Pretty much any smartphone under 10K, hindi maganda ang camera. Basic lang. Laging sablay yung kulay. Pretty much overly saturated halos lahat. And if you're a photographer or a professional, you will not really appreciate the colors that you're seeing. That is on most entry-level phones. But on the Realme C67, this thing has color accuracy all over it. Also very sharp. Grabe yung sharpness niya. Wait lang, wait lang. True value actually comes out through comparison. Yun. Especially on the camera. Ito ha, compared sa Tecno Cam 20 Pro at Infinix 035G, side by side, ang una ko napansin is kung gaano ka-inaccurate yung color ni Tecno. Lalo na si Infinix, no? medyo warm masyado yung color. And masyadong cool naman si Tecno. Si Realme talagang nasa gitna siya. Neutral yung colors. And it's the one that looks so close to the real thing. Kung ano talaga nakita na mata ko, yun talaga yung nakita ko sa Realme. And... If you look at my legs, ang sexy, di ba? Kita mo yung muscle, guys. Mas sharp sa C67. And wait, look at the cement dun sa likod niya, oh, di ba? Kitang-kita pa rin yung sharpness and detail, pero medyo soft na dun sa dalawang phones. What the... And just napansin din ng aking videographer yon yung kotse dun sa kanan. Look at the white Montero right here. Malaki po yung binayad namin dyan. Ha? Huh? Pero aside from the flex, ito na po yung color ng paint namin. So dapat white talaga po yan. Yung isa naman parang medyo purple, yung isa naman medyo magenta. Ang tunay na white talaga dito is si Realme C67. Nakuha niya talaga yung kulay. Tama yung white balancing, tama yung kulay. And yung shirt ko! Ah! <laughs> Ganun kasi ako ka-excited sa C67 guys. Black na black talaga yung t-shirt sa C67. Dito naman sa kabilang ano, medyo bluish. Weird colors. Not sure why. And guys, even the portrait shots says it all. The background blur is much more creamier. Feeling ko kinuha nila from the Realme 11 series to. Yung gantong klaseng uh, image processing. Wow. Yung nga lang, just like any entry level or mid-range phone, merong mga weaknesses yan. Let's say for example, yung highlights. No? Kapag ka merong mga matinding highlights sa background, it will try to balance it 
it out as much as it can. Kaya lang, ganito nagiging itsura niya. So, parang may mga blotch of white everywhere do sa picture. Which is something na hindi talaga kaya ng isang entry level or mid-range phone. Now, in low light, ito po yung nakita namin. You actually need some ample amounts of light in your house kung ito kayo magpipicture. Kasi nga, medyo nakita namin parang medyo soft siya in some parts. Pero, overall image quality, okay naman siya. Pero yun, don't expect too much sharpness and detail in low light. In video naman, ito yung itsura niya. Okay, so we were impressed that it has EIS. And check this out. Ito rare feature sa mga entry-level phones, which is yung steady shot or steady mode, EIS. So we're gonna check out kung uh, stabilized ba siya pagka naglalakad akong ganito. What if tumatakbo tayo? Ah, na, nasa mo! Ah, na, akin. Let's go. Okay, so this one is without the stabilization. Pero kasi hanggang 1080p, 30fps lang po talaga siya. Pero feeling ko mas sharp na yung mukha ko kasi without the stabilization. Kasi usually nagka-crop in siya ng konti kapag merong steady mode. Now the great thing about the camera is that sobrang accurate talaga niya. In terms of yung color, talagang black talaga yung aking shirt dito. And yung skin ko, napakaganda. With beautification din siya sa video. So yun, ang limitation na kanyang video. Up to 1080p, 30 frames per second. Dati kasi umabot pa ng 4K, di ba? This price, pero... You might not even need it, and you might appreciate the image quality further than to have a higher resolution. Well, at least we did. Image quality is king. Specs are just specs. They will only have meaning and value if translated to totoong buhay. Now, the 108MP3X in-sensor zoom camera is special. It is perfect for street photography. Meron po siyang 3x zoom, lossless zoom sa kanyang portrait mode. Here are the photos that I got with the portraits. Grabe guys, uh, sobrang tindi background blur wise and also syempre yung framing mo dito hindi mo nakalaman siya yung sobrang lapit sa subject yung iba kasi guys 2x lang yung provide this one 3x lossless zoom na po so incredible wow plus you also get some street filters here in the portrait mode if you want to add some extra flair to your photos now speaking of the value this phone has so much value for under 10,000 pesos. Ito na price. The Realme C67 is only 9,999 pesos for the 8128 and 10,999 pesos for the 8256. At yan po si Realme C67. Para siyang Realme 11 series pala. Kasi usually guys, Realme C series ay parang entry level pero mukhang si Realme Note series na po yung entry level. Si C naman is yung parang nasa under 10K na sulit na maganda yung camera. And the Realme main series na yung kanilang high-end phone. And feeling ko lang baka magtaas na yung value or yung pricing ng Realme 12 series. Just like what Oppo did with the Oppo Reno series, di ba? But this is fantastic. The image processing of the Realme 11 series has been brought down to the Realme C67. If you are looking for a flagship level experience at the entry level point, this phone might provide you with that. Check it out right now. So, nearest Realme store. Test mo mo now. <laughs> Wag ka agad pre-order ayon. So, pero kung nagustuhan mo na yung sa review ko, why not go for it? And if you want to see more of Realme this year, and what's offering, of course, mag-subscribe ka lang, hit the bell icon so that you don't miss any of my great content. It's Vince and you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo!